Hey, what is up guys? For this how-to video, I'm going to be showing you just all the basics to Rec Room Studio. Alright, so once you have Rec Room Studio open, then go up here and sign into Rec Room Studio. Once you're signed in, go over here to My Rooms and select the room that you want to open, and select the subroom that you want to open. Once the room is open, you should either have the Maker Room or just whatever is in your room. And the first thing that you want to do when you create a new project is right-click, Create, Folder, and just name this Prefabs. And then maybe make another folder for your materials, so I'm just going to call this one mats. And the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to import 3D models. So just go over to Unity Asset Store and find a free model that you would like to import. I'm just going to import this low poly tree pack. And once you found one, click add to my assets and then click open in Unity. Now it should open Unity and the package manager. Click download. And once it's downloaded, click import. Once it's done importing, then you should have a folder to whatever your model is. And the folder will probably have these folders in it. Go to your prefabs, and now these are your models. If you drag and drop your model into the scene, then you'll notice that it is pink because the materials that came with this model don't support Arkham Studio, but we can do something to fix the materials to make it so they do support Arkham Studio. The Rec Room Studio materials. So just select all your pink materials, go up here to edit, go down here to rendering, materials, and then click this. So now your materials should fix and your models should be fixed too. And by the way, once you open a room, then your skybox will probably not look like this. It'll just be the normal Unity skybox. I'll show you how to put this skybox on. Go over here to default assets, skyboxes, these always come with every single Rec Room Studio project that you create. And then just drag and drop the skybox that you want onto the scene. So now I'm going to show you how to make this, or your 3 model, a Rec Room object. And something you could move and scale inside of Rec Room with your Maker Pen. So go up to your Hierarchy, and drag and drop your model into your Prefabs folder. Click Original Prefab or Prefab Variant. Now click on your Prefab. Go over here to add component, just a rec, click Recom object. So now it's a Recom object, but you still need a collider. So this model right here has a mesh render and this mesh filter on it. So that means I can put a mesh collider on it, which will automatically like put the colliders. But if you don't have that on your model, then just go down here to add component and add a box collider. To edit the box collider, click this right here and click these little boxes right here to edit the box collider. It's so much easier just to double click on your prefab right here and edit the box collider in your prefab. But since this model has a mesh render, then I'm going to remove the box collider and just keep the mesh collider. And you don't have to put a Rec Room object script on your every single object you import. It's just you only need to put the Rec Room object script on objects that you want to interact with the Maker Pen. Once it has the Rec Room object script on it, then your object will show up into this orange maker pen area in your hierarchy. So now other things that you could do with Rec Room Studio is that if you go up here to Rec Room Studio and click Circuit Editor, you should have this Circuit Editor pop up, and then I'm just going to drag this up into here. Now what this is, this is just like the Circuit Editor, like you could do circuits in this if you wanted to. And up here where there's a circuit, double you could double click it and it will open up the circuit inside the circuit editor. You could create new circuits, search for whatever circuit. You could just add circuits and do circuits in here if you wanted to. Also, if you go over here to Rec Room Studio tab, then you can edit the room settings, change the room image, and change all these normal settings. You could even delete the subroom and move the subroom, so be careful of whoever you're putting on your games, because if they have Rec Room Studio, they can just move the subroom, and delete the subroom within Rec Room Studio. And you always have to put a welcome mat in your room in order for Rec Room Studio to work or just to upload the build. So once you have all your models and everything imported, then go over here to Upload to RecNet. It'll give you this warning if there's any co-owners in the room. So now you'll know when it's uploading if you go down here and this is yellow. All right, once it is done, then this pop-up will show up. And if you go into Rec Room, go to your saves, and you should be able to select your top save now. Once you've loaded your save, then whatever you imported should now be in the room. And since it's a Rec Room object, I can now move this around. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to download saves from Rec Room so you can see the stuff that you've done in Rec Room Studio. 
So once you've saved the room, then this orange thing should pop up down here. Double click it, click download. Once you have downloaded the save, you can see all the stuff that I saved in Rec Room, and now it's showing up in Rec Room Studio. So now all the stuff should show up in the hierarchy here. But what if now you've done a lot of stuff in Rec Room Studio and haven't downloaded your latest save? I'm going to show you how you could download the save, but still keep the stuff that you've done in Rec Room Studio. So if I just place these objects here, I'm going to just download this save again. I'm going to do set all the download. But for this right here, these are these trees that I've placed. Put this to keep local. And so now when I download, so now once you've downloaded the save, then all the stuff that were in Rec Room should be in Rec Room Studio. But since I downloaded the same exact save as, as the save before, then it's all just the same stuff. But it still kept the stuff that I imported. So that's basically it for this video. That's it's pretty much just the basics of Rec Room Studio. Just to import models and put on materials and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video.